This is a very short video to help you to install PSPP on your Mac. PSPP is free and open source software, but it is not signed by an Apple certificate, so you have to go through an extra step. So what we're doing now is, as you can see, I'm downloading it, and while it's downloading, I'm going into the security and privacy control panel, unlocking it, putting in my password, and then allowing programs from the App Store and other developers. Then, when it finally downloads, I open up the DMG file, just like any other software. It goes through a little verification process, and then I see it right there. Now, I can open it right from where it is by right-clicking and selecting Open. You can't just double-click the first time. In the future, you can double-click, but first you have to say Open because it'll give you this little dialog box that asks you, are you sure you want to install it? And then it works just as normal. Now I'm going to drag it onto my hard drive and into the Applications folder, just like I was going to use it in uh, more than once. And I do the same thing. I right-click, say Open, it goes through Verification, and then it asks me if I'm sure. And then it opens right up. Using Homebrew, which I've already got installed on my Mac, and we're going to do it through Terminal. So I'm at the current PSPP page. So I'm going to click on Download. And you notice that here we have an application bundle, which is how we got that first version, Mac ports, and PSPP brew. So you can ask, why am I using Homebrew instead of Mac ports? And the answer is because I've already got it installed. So it's extremely simple on how you do this. So we're just going to copy these two commands. I'm going to do it one at a time here, but you can do them both at once. So the first one does uh, seems to do nothing, right? But when you do the second one, or let's get the latest development version, you just copy, paste. So this is the uh, long statement. It takes a long time before you get anything. If you look at where it says default up on top, you can see it's going between other programs. And this is a feature of iTerm. I don't know if Terminal would do it iTerm is an excellent terminal program, which I strongly recommend that you get. Now here you see that's auto-updating homebrew. That's something I really should have done myself, so I'm doing it now, and all I have to do is type in the words brew upgrade. And if you go back a bit, then you'll see where I type that in. Brew upgrade. And it does this, and this is very fast, and this is just downloading various things it's going to use. And then what will happen is it'll get painfully slow in a couple of minutes. And so I'm going to switch to extra fast. But this whole process can take half of an hour to an hour. And it seems to stall a lot. But again, if you use iTerm instead of Terminal, as I'm doing, then when you look up at the top of the screen over there, you'll see it says Default Ruby. And it'll switch over and it'll show you which program it's really running behind the scenes as the script goes from program to program. And that's helpful partly so that you know that it has installed out. So now we're running it at 20 times speed, which is to say I'm speeding up the movie that you see behind you to 20 times the actual speed. And what's going on right now, as you can see, is it's basically stuck on configuring setting up PSPP, the updated version of it. It did a little screensaver for a moment and now it's back and it's just here. Again you can see it going between various programs up above. It can take about 20 minutes under make up to half of an hour or so and then it does make check for a long time. There doesn't seem to be much point in filming this so I'll just show you a screenshot and then we'll see what happens next. Ah, here we go. Now it's all done, and as you can see, it took just about one hour to upgrade PSPP, and that's just about how long it'll take to install it in the first place. So be patient, do something else while it's working, and you'll have a beautiful PSPP installation when you're all done, just for your computer.